Curate Coasters International has been a major wooden coaster manufacturer in the industry over the past 20 or so years, and with rides like Gold Striker, Mystic Timbers, and Wodon Timber Coaster, they have an amazing portfolio of attractions. However, the best one is hidden within the depths of a mysterious- Alright, I'll stop there. Thunderhead at Dollywood looks like a completely average DCI. With your average dosage of shaking and needing Advil after the ride, I'm looking at you, old wildcat. But it's so much more than that, mainly due to the fact that Dollywood does a perfect job maintaining the ride. The entrance and queue literally look like something out of Planet Coaster with boring switch packs and little to no theming, but the station is pretty nice. It's not super elaborate, but the station flyby rumbles the whole building and it feels like you're an absolute earthquake. The restraints are a tiny pain as they come down further throughout the ride, but if you hold it up you'll be just fine and they are quite comfortable. If you put your hands up during the ride though, you're pretty much a goner. A plus about the trains is the padding, as it softens the blow of getting whipped around during the laterals of this ride. Enough said about the trains, let's rumble into the ride experience. See what I did there? Out of the station, you have this 270 degree helix which sets the tone for the rest of the ride laterals. Even with little speed to begin with, you'll be pinned to the side of your seat during this moment and then jerked to the other direction before heading into the lift. The coaster reaches a max height of 100 feet before aggressively diving into the valley in a right hand turn drop. In the back row, you are caught off guard and whipped pretty violently. In the front row, you get views, I guess? The ride snaps left and gives good laterals before snip snapping to the right in the first large turn which gives a small bit of laterals. Thunderhead then takes a small drop before giving this bank step up which will throw you to the side before a turn into a very intense drop, giving unmatched airtime in the back. The coaster has an off axis airtime hill over the ride entrance before yet another high bank turn, with this one giving decent laterals. After the turn, you go through the station and get deafened in the process before turning out and having some small banked airtime hills, which all give solid flow vector airtime. Thunderhead continues with more snip snaps which give aggressive laterals, and then there are a few airtime moments scattered into the insanity. This part of the ride feels like a bunk bucking bronco, and if you ride this coaster alone, it's hard not to get flung into the other side of the car. Overall, this part of the ride never lets up, although it can jackhammer you on some occasions. After more snip snapping insanity, the brakes hit and you finally question your sanity. For being a 19 year old wooden coaster, this ride runs amazing and is the best coaster at Dollywood. Out of the 199 roller coasters I've ridden, I have Thunderhead at number 18, just one spot ahead of Mystic Timbers. Anyways, make sure to share your thoughts on Thunderhead in the comments below, and if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe to make me go on curler more. This is Zero G Coaster signing out, have a great day and I'll catch you on the next train.